Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Trials into Reverie. In the last part, we continued our climb to the second stratum and took on uh, lots of uh, floating, uh, floating evil balls of evilness. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. All that happened last time. <laughs> we got some ceiling stones in the last part, which are nice. And uh, I decrypted the gold ceiling stone that I uh, held off. And um, I will say that I was a little mistaken about the, the safe scumming aspect when it comes to the ceiling stones. I assumed that all I had to do was save the game, like right here, and I and decrypt the gold ceiling stone. And if I didn't like who who popped out, reload and try again. Well, that's not exactly what you had to do. You can still save scum, but it's a little more complicated than that. I guess if I'm, what I understand correctly is, before you even start a, stra a stratum that has a gold ceiling stone in it, you have to save it and go through the stratum until you find, I, I think, one of the formidable enemies and, see, and get them to drop the gold ceiling stones. Then leave and go decrypt it and see who pops out. If you don't like who popped out, reload the save, go into the stratum again, ignore that first formidable enemy, that for that first formidable foe, and go to a go to like a different level. Like you get the gold, like the first gold, the, the, the like the first gold scene that you got that you're re-rolling. You got like level two, and you didn't, and you wanted something different. So you go to like level three, your level four, or whatever level, or, or any other different level, and uh, fight and get another one, and then leave, go back and decrypt, and just repeat the process until you get the people, the person, someone that you want. That's the process, I think. That has, that's that's how it works. So it's a little more complicated than I thought. So um, I will not be doing that. <laughs> too too annoying, honestly. I mean, it's easy to do. But I'm not gonna do it. Uh, so, as our oh, first off, I did I did go through the uh, the whole stratum. You know, this is probably easier. That's not all. How do I? So I, I did go through the stratum and leveled up a little bit. I got everybody up to 121. I got a lot of Azure droplets from going through these. So you, you get a lot. And those gates, those special gates that appear on the floors. You get a lot of Sephiroth out of those too. Like there's there's one where it's all bright and shiny and golden. You get a hundred Sephiroth when you break those crystals each. Depending on well, instead of getting like 50 fire Sephiroth, you get a hundred Sephiroth, and that's, that's that's applied to all the elemental Sephiroth and even the Sephiroth mass. So you can get a lot of quartz, especially in that gold that shiny golden uh, field. But yeah, I got a lot of uh. I had like over 500 Azure droplets, but I shelled out a lot to get everybody leveled up to 121. I also got some new equipment for some people. Uh, unfortunately, some you can buy the plus ones, but you can't buy the plus twos. Now I don't know if those are not available yet, but uh, you can't buy the plus twos. So you had to actually get those in chests in the field in the in the stratum. So I got some people's to plus two others are still plus one or haven't even, even upgraded yet i haven't really bothered upgrading alfin but by the way this is the character who i got in the gold stone this one alfin um i haven't really upgraded alfin or angelica since they're not particularly that important because they're only they're limited only to the corridor so uh, i haven't really done much with them but everybody else has at least plus one or some form of upgraded equipment like sh like her uh i also got some quartz i think it's all i think it's all pretty much the same quartz just like upgraded versions i got, I got people sorted out like this man right here he went from like 200 000, like 200,000, like 2000 strength 20, 2100 strength to 2800 so he, he got a pretty good boost in a stat, so hopefully uh, Rufus's crew won't be so fucking squishy anymore. And hopefully 
that can actually deal some damage. And no, they didn't. They really. They, they didn't exactly get a. <laughs> they didn't exactly get new new uh, fucking S breaks or S crafts. So that sucks. That sucks. So Swin. What what a time to get a phone call. Swin, you still suck. Swin still sucks, and Nadia, well, Nadia has Thready Bear, so she's, she's at least useful. I think, I can't remember, this upgraded at some point, in the, at some point, or if it's the same, if, or if I had that before. Um, Lapis, I know for a fact, got some new stuff. Where you at, Lapis? Yeah, Lapis got Grimoire Arc, so she's got that. Her Adele Heart upgraded, and uh, that was it. Not only that, I also did those two the, two, the two trials and the trial doors. So his Rising Sun upgrades to Rising Nova. It's the same attack, really. Not much difference. Um, Solaris Bringer upgrades to two. Uh, her Ether, hers upgrade to Ether, Ether, Ether Debuster. Emma's upgrade to Palace of Arrogant three. Uh, his Gemini Judgment leveled up. To Upgraded to this. Uh, I'm trying to remember who else. I think Gaius is true howling. I think his upgraded. Um, Cross Rebellion upgraded when I was leveling him up. So a couple, a couple of people got their S crafts leveled up and upgraded. So that's nice. All right. One second. I hate phone calls. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I did upgrade wise for uh for uh, my characters. I also went around and did the Vantage Masters. I took on yeah, I took on Risha, who was oh, it was a hard difficulty. Oh shit! I didn't realize there was a hard difficulty. Okay, I'm not gonna do that because for one, Risha was a pain in the ass to beat. It took me like seven or eight trials to try to beat her. She was a pain in the ass. The Muse, Muse was no better. Muse was also a pain in the ass. Uh, so, so I did those, and I also took on Lecter over here. Was it Lecter? No, it was. Was it, was it you? No, yeah, it was Agate, not Lecter. My bad. So I took him on. He was easy. He was easy breezy. But Muse and uh, Risha were a pain in the ass to beat. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much all I did. As you can see, I got a lot of Mira. And uh, all that kind of fun stuff. I also got some... I got a lot of slots upgraded. Not all of them are there yet, but we're getting closer. So we're getting there. Before we get out of here, though, continue on with the story, we got some daydreams to, to, to view. So, uh, let's do that. There are also a couple new minigames uh, that you could have done. There's a there's the Millionaire minigame that opened up. There was a uh, beach. Let me show this real quick. Get over here real quick. I probably could, I could just teleport it over here to be honest with you. Alright, so Magical Girl Lisa didn't really get a new episode yet. Um, Beach Vacay. It's a series of mini games. Let me show you. Alright, we're, we're, so, obviously, there is a little bit of a story, kind of, to this when we, when we first loaded it up. Um, but, I didn't, and I didn't anticipate that. I didn't record it, because I didn't think it was that important. It's pretty much, this pretty much takes place, I think, a, like, like, a couple months, or a couple weeks, after the whole marriage ceremony, and all the whole thing after Cold Steel 4, so, you'll see familiar characters, like, 
uh, Celine, you'll see Duvali, you see Fee, you see uh, Laura, you see you'll see everybody. So um, pretty much, you come here, you bond, you kind, you kind of like bond with your to your uh, your party members, basically. So how do you get out of here? Okay, that's how you do it. So yeah, you can you can ch hang out with the crowd. You can have intimate moments with uh with the with the female cast, like oh, so you can get um kind of interesting bits of dialogue and, and dialogue changes depending on how what actions you do. And in the game's description on the PlayStation Store, this said well, it was VR compatible. And I didn't know how this game would use VR. It's those intimate moments that use VR. And it's pretty much you and whoever you choose. And uh, you can look around, you know, check out the scene. And you can even look at um, the person that you're out having a date with. So, it's pretty interesting. It's a pretty little, nice little relaxing thing you get more tickets from uh the cur curios so it's interesting i don't remember there being nine of them you start off with like nine or f five or nine i can't remember how much you started out with when you first loaded it up but uh i i know for a fact i used them all and i know for a fact i didn't buy not get nine of them so i wonder if they uh if they uh if they uh recharge there's also this one which is just basically a quiz show um, and then the pom-pom party, which is Tetris. This is the name I couldn't think of last time. I fucking hate I hate I hate Tetris. I'm not good at it. The pom-pom party is basically Tetris. I hated that shit in uh, Zero and Azure. Uh, and I still hate it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we got some daydreams we gotta, gotta go through first before we head off and do more story. There's four of them we gotta do, so considering how long they usually are, uh, I'll probably do two daydreams now, and then two daydreams in the next part. So, um, yeah, it's uh, we'll be we'll we'll be so we'll be in here for a little while. What's going on, Saint Estrella? School life. We're going back to school. Fuck me. It's kind of interesting because we've never actually seen the inside setting of the Saint Estrella, so. As I'm sure you're all already aware, we have two fun principles here at Saint Estrella. The first is humility and, and auster, uh, austerity. The second is service toward others. These ideas are rooted in the real world actions of our school's namesake. The story begins in the distant past. Okay, I want to point out you have two girls with the same, with the, liter with the literal same exact hairstyle and hat. Well, they all have the same hat, but really, you couldn't think of like you couldn't may have one different hairstyle. <sighs> Recall our patron saint, the Lady Astrea. Approximately 900 years ago, when the capital was enshrouded in mystery and mysterious miasma, she was a miracle worker who saved countless lives. Ooh, I don't remember that at all. Was well, thanks to her efforts that the, that that then Emperor Astorius Astorius Reus Arnarx II was able to relocate his people and vassals to, to Saint Arc. The words and principles she left behind serve as our spiritual support today. Just got a ring. Fancy ring. ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。ふっ。
Sheesh, I knew you were off in La La Land. Anyway, your big brother goes to the famous Thor's military academy, right? Who? I've read in the Imperial Times about all about the amazing students who helped end the war and everything. Um, do you think you can introduce me to your brother? I don't even know who her brother is, to be honest with you. Huh? To Wayne? I don't remember him. Yeah, you don't want that. He's a ball of misery, annoying, and never stops to catch his breath. We're talking all brawn and no brain. Poor guy. Dang, you're mega harsh on him. What a shame. You're such a lucky individual and hit your poor brother. How pitiable. pitiable. Bro's got his, his friend Stark. He's a real lady killer, but I haven't seen him around lately. I think I remember him. And gone are the days a full page magazine spread to Prince Cedric and Lord Rufus. Ugh, I need more hotties in my life. You really are something else, you know that? You've been super out of it as of late, so I thought it might be something to do with the recent coma incidents. Coma? I'm an idiot for worrying about you. You mean the rumor that's been talk the talk of the school? The very same. Grand mystery unfolding at our very own Sinistrea? Isn't it kind of weirdly exciting? Healthy, energetic grown girls suddenly falling into comas without rhyme or reason. And after being out for half a day, they suddenly wake up only for their memory of the incident to be total blank. They've gone- they've already had been six victims, and it could be next. Hey, Miki, what do you think? Is there- is there foul play at work? Uh, I mean, it's probably just one big coincidence, right? People around here have got all kinds of pent-up exhaustion and stuff. You can be such a downer sometimes, you know that? We've had victims in our own class, and yet you couldn't care less. I personally think this is all the result of someone casting a curse. Fortune telling was pop- well, fortune telling was popular at school last year, but you never know about curses. Ah, uh, that's, that's totes possible. And then we consider the, the seven mysteries of Saint Estrella. I'm so excited. <sighs> Everything's just so boring. Can't believe I had to sit through three more years of this. Uh, man, girl, I feel you. I feel you. Or I felt you. That was That's me in high school, exactly. There's Elise. There she is. Is that Muse? Yuna and... Who are you? Who's that? Looks like Kurt in a wig. It literally is Kurt in a wig. Hello? This is a beauty spot at 10 o'clock. Who the heck is that? Uh, Mika? Leave her. Girl's in another world right now. That's literally Kurt in a wig. It probably isn't. That's just me saying. That's just me saying. I mean, look at it. Look at her. You, you take away the long hair and, and she looks exactly like Kurt. Oops. So this is where one of those students suddenly collapsed, huh? Mm, it is pretty out of sight. I could totally see some creep skulking around here. Though the secretary guard said he hadn't been- he hadn't heard word of any intruders. I'm telling you, this is definitely Kurt. You cannot tell me this is Kurt. This is not Kurt wearing a girl's uniform and, st and a stuffed bra in disguise. You can't- there's, it has to be Kurt. If this is not Kurt, then I'd be totally shocked. But then again, um, why is Kurt here if it is? There aren't- <laughs> There have been six girls who have collapsed, and I can't allow there to be any more victims. It really is awful. Shut up, okay? We're gonna solve this mystery no matter what. Anyway, is that who I think it is? Oh. It is indeed. The cavalry has arrived. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here? Long time no see, everyone. I hope you weren't waiting too long. I see. So, Elia is gonna be helping with our investigation. Hi, I didn't mean to surprise you all. Truth be told, I've been visiting here off, on, off and on as a provisional music lecturer. And here, and while I might not be the permanent member of the faculty, I still want to do what I can to make this place a, this a safe place for the students. Thank you so much. It means a lot having you around. Glad to be a service. And I've got to say, seeing you all in St. Stray outfits is quite, is quite a sight. Especially a certain someone over there. I'm telling you, this is fucking Kurt. This is Kurt. <laughs> but hey, you rock it. 
Okay, maybe it isn't Kurt. Maybe it isn't Kurt. The voice just throws me off. If it's Kurt, he does an amazing job pretending to be a girl. It started a few days ago. I fucking know it. It is Kurt. They, they, they swindled him into this. <laughs> how, do, how, do you get, how did he pull off the voice, though? That's what I want to know. There's no other way to put it, really. Students have been falling into a deep sleep without worrying at the academy. There must be some, some root, behind, co root cause behind this phenomenon. Her highness will be returned to school next week, and I'd rather, rather this didn't stay unsolved for her, for her arrival. Even if it's just between the grounds, can I ask you for your assistance? Absolutely, we'd love to help. Ash, Allie, and the instructor are all out right now. But even if the whole group can't join me, Muse and Kirk can put in a double, double time for this. What she said, the instructor would never turn you down if you were here. It's only right that, he, that we would help, not only, for you, not only you for as a sister, but the princess as well. I, of course, wholeheartedly agree. I'm sure Prince Instructor Tell will be more than, will, will more than approve if we frame this as part of our extracurricular activities. Just let us know what you need from us. Except, why is, why would Kurt wear it? Alright, because I'll, I'll have my answer soon. Thank thank goodness, it's really good to hear you say, say yes. I knew Reen was away, so I wasn't sure how this little meeting was, was going to go. This may work out for the better, even. How so? Well, a smaller group allows us to be discreet. There are currently no signs that this is malicious, malicious in nature, but I prefer not to worry the students or, or their guardians. Good point. The circumstances are too vague to be causing a panic. It'd definitely be better to keep this on the down low. I have an idea. Why don't we dress up as Saint Estrella, as, as students of Saint Estrella? Why aren't you a student? You and Yuna can do that, yes. I'll have to provide, I'll have to provide assistance from the sidelines, but there's not much that we can do to do to solve that. Yeah, unfortunately. If we learn anything on the inside, we'll let you know. Uh oh. The sidelines? Oh, that just won't do. It'll have to do, Muse. What makes you be so certain of that? There are some very strange circumstances. There's no telling what danger you'll run into in while on site. If it does turn into a, a if it does turn out to be something malicious, the student body as a whole could very well be in grave danger. Can you do anything from the sidelines then? No. So you must come with us. Uh oh. Sorry, I don't think I'm following. Oh no, this is how he got. This is how he got it. Um, Muse, don't tell me. Just leave everything. Oh no, poor Kurt. Aidos, help me. <laughs> poor, but poor guy. <laughs> I wonder if this is gonna be a costume for him. <laughs> this skirt is so uncomfortable. I never realized how defenseless they might make you feel. Plus, Muse made me drink that weird secret witch's brew. Now even my voice is different. Okay, that explains the voice. I just have to remind myself that this is for the royal family. This is so they can be at peace. Cur Curtina? Really? Is that the best you can come up with, Curtina? Who the fuck names their child, names their daughter Curtina? <laughs> really? You couldn't go like Christina or something like that? My Curtina? That makes that's so stupid. Oh, yes, I'm fine. Let's try to investigate the rest of the school. I just want this to be done and over with. <laughs> oh boy. Now don't get all shy on us. As far as you can tell, you look pretty perfectly fine. You look perfectly fine. Just relax. She's right. Be more confident in yourself. I know you can do it, Curtina. God. Be more confident? Seriously? You have my sympathies, Kurt. <laughs> anyway, let's get down to business. I think there are two possibilities here. Either there's some kind of sleeping gas leaking somewhere. Or something, someone is using a drug to commit a criminal act. We don't have much in the way of clues yet, so we should approach this from the both angles. Good idea. Then let's... Uh oh. Oh, aren't you from the middle school section? 
Oopsie, caught red-handed. Sorry, President Elise. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them around, so I couldn't help but be a little nosy. Oh, wowzers! You're so you're investigating the coma incident. Yes. Thank you so much for coming all the way here to help. You ha you're all my heroes. This is a serious matter, you know. I possibly really appreciate if you kept us all in the down low. We wouldn't want rumors of traveling around through school. Oh, come on. I'd never say, I'd never say anything. My lips are sealed. Mostly. <sighs> Fine. You already know what's going on. At this point, it might be better off having you cooperate with our investigation. You mean... I guess she's coming along. We could use a guide, anyway. Exactly. Mew's never going to do that, but we stand out too much. Precisely. Prison at least can't, can't enter a room without commanding its attention. I'm, not, I'm also not up to date on the latest rumors here, so an actual student might be the best fit. Oh gosh, real awesome! How lucky am I? Please calm down. Listen carefully, Mika. There's no telling what sort of danger lurks at the center of this mystery. Now, normally I'd never allow this, but this time around we have the perfect escort. Just don't forget that this is an exception. An escort? Who? This young lady is a swordsman recognized by the royal family. With her here, our safety ought to be assured. Oh boy. Hmm. Huh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Um, hi, my name is Vega Shard God. Schoolgirl crush. May I ask yours? Huh. <laughs> God, that dr whatever drug he took must be damn powerful to change his voice so drastically. <笑><笑><笑> Oh boy. Oh boy. Kurt's in it for now. In it for now. now, this is the drama I live for. Give it a rest, Muse. <clears throat> Mika, I'm sure you make sure to be on your best behavior. Oh, and about that ring of yours. Oh shit, no! I hit the wrong button! Fuck me! Fuck. After seeing you off at least, should we had student council to do this to attend to? They began to look around the school. Wait. How do you... Shit. I skipped through the text. My, my controller hit the damn arm of my chair. Fuck me. Oh, uh, Is there a way to actually view the text? Not, probably not. Probably not during the scene. Fortunate. People are really up here after school, but now every now and then we get girls come doing little clandestine, clandestine meetings. <laughs> really? Talk about a girls' academy cliche. Not that I'm interested in that sort of thing. Uh... God, she's beautiful. Yeah. I hate to admit it, but he really pu does pull the uniform off well. I think it's more because of the hair that probably, probably does it. Hey, does help me. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> My fish out of the water feeling aside, I have to make sure this girl doesn't figure out who I am. Oh, no. Uh -huh. I really didn't turn anything out. It's just one no normal open space. No holes for gas leakage or anything. When the incident occurred at lunch. Even if it was someone on the inside, I find it hard to believe they'd be able to pull it off in front of so many people. Um, actually, I was present when, present when it happened. One of the upper class was talking, and then all of a sudden, she just collapsed. I called for a teacher and everything. It took half a day for her to wake up. In the end, they said it was, it was anema. Huh. Well, that's not entirely implausible, but... Anyway, ladies, it's about, I'd say it's about time you hit the next spot. 
I swear to God, this is gonna be a curp or caution for Kerr. I'm gonna fucking lose it. You can't have this and not be and not have it be a caution for Kerr. Ah, so Instructor Elliot. Hey, uh, practicing during your time off. We'd love we'd love to see it. But of course, there's barely any time left before the next contest. Um, Professor Instructor Elliot, could I ask you for your help after school? My oh my, you're quite the popular one. Eh, it's a little embarrassing to be honest. This is what it feels like to be rain. <laughs> Actually, there's something I'd like to bend your e bend your ear about if you don't mind. Bend your ear, bro. Who the fuck says that? Do you happen to know anything about these, the coma incidents happening in San Estrella? As it so happens, yes, one of the incidents took place in this music room. That was when the mu mu music school girls came here to clean out the school. One of them suddenly collapsed as they were preparing for the club. I was next to her at the time. She really did fade out of nowhere. It was terrifying. I see. So she was next to her, but unaffected. Hmm. Ah, and, and according to one of the younger students, there was a middle school who collapsed during class, too. Rumor has it that most of the incidents have been during break time or after school, but I guess it's not a definite thing. Huh. So they, they are cases that don't fit the ML. Could you explain in more detail? Hmm, we've done the rounds, but we still don't have any real clues. By the way, where are we? Um, the first floor of the, mu of the middle school. People barely come here enough because all it really has are the prep room, is the, are the prep room and storehouse. I see. I know incidents, incidents have happened here, right? Oh, wait, we should check it out. No sign of the lock being for, forced open. Or anything out of the ordinary, really. Yeah, and judging by the dust, this place hasn't been touched in at least two weeks. It was incredible! I'm so glad I came along. You know, super lively and smart, but Cortina's just as beautiful and... Hey, so it doesn't have it doesn't have to be related to the coma instance, but have you noticed anything weird around here? Any problems? Let's see. Not that I can think of, honestly. Outside of this coma stuff, it's been peaceful. Like maddeningly so. Oh, but come to think of it, something come to mind? It's completely unrelated, but I actually found this ring around here. Check it out. Oh wow, it looks like it costs a pretty, a pretty mirror, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm always getting lucky with stuff like this. For I am Mika, the goddess of fortune. <laughs> the goddess of fortune. Right. <laughs> She's certainly an interesting girl. Mm, I certainly know someone of the opposite end of the luck spectrum. I went around with someone from student council to check if anyone dropped any rings, but nobody had claimed claim to it, so I ended up getting it, getting to keep it for myself. Been carrying around with me ever since. Though I know better to, though I know better to flaunt it all over the place. Oh, so it's not your, so it's your not so dirty little secret, eh? She's cunning as heck, but I can't figure, her, I can't fault her for it. Ah, uh, the class bell. Oh, time flies. Since we're done the round, let's group, regroup with Muse and the others and read to exchange info. Huh? You're already leaving? Um, in that case, I. I'll talk to the teachers and get them to let me help you during class. Mika, you really don't have to. It's a big deal, Lady Curtina. Anything for you. Alright, Kurt. Time for plan B. Feel bad, but this is best for everyone. Uh oh. Mika, there's no telling what dangers could avoid us. I don't want to put you in harm's way. Let's take you from here. Please. Oh boy. Thanks so much for showing us around, Mika. Make sure you get back to class. Good day to you. Oh boy. You still my few best in heart. Wait! I've gotta keep keep gotta keep my head in the gang. I lose track of her now, I Well Professor better stash the ring. Come to think of it, did I actually find this ring? And was it really around here? My memories are kinda hazy. Uh oh. Well, that's uh, not normal. But whatever, now's not the time for this. Wait for me, Lady Yuna, Lady Curtina? Oh, 
Jesus. She's gonna skip class. She's gonna skip class. Student Council President's Office class time. I see. So even you guys weren't able to figure what's going out, what's going on. Unfortunately, we did at least check out all the places where it happened, but they were scattered all throughout the campus grounds, and there was nothing odd about any of them. The roof, the classroom, the hallway, the rose garden. It's hard to believe that there's something kind of ga some kind of gas leak in so many dis disparate spots. Yeah, it doesn't seem natural, which means there's a perpetrator here. In the time we spent interviewing people, we found no com com commonalities between victims. In other words, it's indiscriminate. The purpose is just picking targets at random. Is it really possible? That's the question. We have to figure out their their modest operandi. Most of the incidents took place during breaks or after class when there were, when there were people around. The idea of a criminal picking a victim based on zero, on zero criteria out of a large crowd of people just it just doesn't seem likely. Yeah, I feel like we're so close, but something's eluding us. Is it the ring? The ring of power? Now that I really think about it, it's just its such a bizarre set of incidents. No matter how much we look into it, it feels like we're grabbing at thin air. Mm, maybe it really is just the fault of that good luck charm. Oh yeah, that one girl talked about the room circling on campus. High school girls seem to, be, seem, seem to love that sort of occult-esque stuff. Occult, huh? Hmm, it might not be just a rumor after all. Elliot? I do not like that where this is heading. I see. There's a third possibility we hadn't considered. Yeah, and it's not entirely impossible. What if there was something capable of causing unexplainable phenomena? I'm sure you guys are familiar with what I'm getting at. Wait, you can't mean... An artifact? Bingo! You've come across... We've come across a few of them a, them a few times. It's the Ring of Power! It's the Ring of Power! So-called gifts of the gods incapable of being analyzed with modern technology. And when it comes to incidents of caused by artifacts... And one thing's for sure. There must be one. There, this mu there must be an activation trigger. Yeah, we need to we need to approach this from a different angle. You know, have you noticed anything? A connecting thread we might have overlooked. Now that you mention it, there's something that's been nagging at me this whole time. Something that might tie everything together. If you want disguise, the middle school section. She was a victim, so she definitely was, she was definitely connected, but I had to narrow this down or it won't be any useful. There's a disguise! No, no, that's not got nothing to do with it. Oh no, poor Kurt. Kurt's disguise totally threw me off, but that's not it. I had to find the connected thread. Oh no. Sorry, Kurt, I tried to help you. Right, the middle school section. Huh, that did come up a few times. Most of the places where incidents incur were in public, or in public, but on the flip side, there are spots where the, where the middle school girls gathered as well. And the biggest hint of them is the incident that took place in that middle school classroom. That was the only instance of someone losing consciousness in the classroom, right? Yeah, I heard that it was actually Miko's class. We should get, we should talk to her again and get. Wait, we sent her back to class, didn't we? Darn. I guess we'll have to talk, we'll have to, talk to her during the next break between classes. Thank goodness, I figured you'd all be here. Hello, Elise. Elise, what's wrong? I'm hoping this is nothing serious, but... You know that one girl, Mika? One of the teachers reported that she hasn't come back to class. Seriously? That's all. We parted ways with her at the middle school section hallway. And now that you mention it, I rather doubt, I rather doubt she actually went back to class. This is concerning. Agreed. Let's go look for her just in case. It's the ring. It's the ring of power. The last time we saw her was around here. Uh oh. What in the world? What in the world is that? I'm I'm sensing. It's coming from down those stairs. That should be just a storage area, though. Yes, but something doesn't seem right. Uh oh. What the heck? A magic circle. 
Now, a teleportation circle connected somewhere else. Mika could well wander through it, but as much as I hate to entertain the possibility. Either way, we have to go and see. It might be connected to the coma incidents. Agreed. It's highly likely there are dangers ahead, but I'm really the only one who's qualified to investigate. Just, but just to be safe, let's go through with a group of four and someone behind will keep watch. A wise idea, and I and I and the one I think you're, you'd be best suited to be put into practice, Elliot. The students all know you well, so you can see easily keep them away. Good point. I'll leave the rest of you rest, the rest of you guys new class seven. Understood. Once we're prepared, we're charging in. Oh, this is the whole thing, huh? All right. Um, look at that. It's funny, you, you can take Elliot with you, regardless of who you, of who you choose. I think I'll leave Elise behind. Elliot might have Elliot has healing ability, so sorry, Elise. Where are we? Looks like some kind of church. Wait, no, I know this place. Yes, we're inside the structure that played host to events immediately preceding the Great Twilight. It can't be. Grawl of Erebos? It has to be, but why are we inside it, again, inside it again now? This is just a speculation on my part, but the Grawl of Erebos was originally a primal ground that existed beneath the Heimdall Cathedral. If we suppose that when that when it was moved to the, to the Carol Imperial Villa, part of it was left behind. Hmm, I see. Sinistre is situated close to the Cathedral, now that you mention it. So this has been under the school for 900 years now. Unreal. There must be some specific reason why his portal leaned here showed up in the actual school building all of a sudden, though. Even if we find the cause, I'm honestly not sure if we're up to, we're up to handling it by ourselves. But we've got to do something for Mika and for the school. We may not be able to be able to save our instructor or million when we were last in the Grawl, but we've gone both as a team and as individuals since then. This is a good time as any to show just how much just how much. Yes, I once intended to see Estrella, so this, that's all the more reason I want to protect it. Let's put an end to whatever is turning these girls' Halkian ha school days into a walking nightmare. I'll support you however I can. But still, everyone, there's no telling what we're up against here. Oh boy. Alright. And this will be fun. Mighty must not! Oh, I, guess, I guess it makes sense that she'll still have her voice. That, that, that girl will still have, still have his, a girl voice. Shoot! <laughs> Alright. Oh, I don't even have my. I don't have. I don't have sword dance. Rip. Kurt doesn't have the girl voice. I want my money back. Do you have allies? Probably a good thing I took you. I don't know if these guys will count towards the battle book, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I hit nothing. I could squat all. I know she mentioned it too. Yeah, that's right. Is it really back? It's back. Damn. Unfortunate. Oh, my money back. 
Alright. Oh shit. Hang on. Uh, I forgot. No wonder I'm one shot everything. I toned down the difficulty when I was going through the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the corridor to speed the process of grinding. And I forgot to change it back. Oops. Hang on. This does, this has, this is not happening. Of course you miss. I didn't miss! I, oh my god, I missed three times in a row. Please. Nee, you got a gun, shoot it out of the sky. Fix this right now. There we go. Now, uh, now we're off right normally. What? Okay, that was very jarring to look at. Okay. <laughs> The fuck is this thing? Alright. Tech you True Abaddon Alright You would miss Zero craft for me. Oh, this is different. What is this? That's a different S break. What? On. What was that? Double crit? Gemini Judgment? Have I seen that before? Or did he have it? Or I'm so confused. I thought I shut off all Kurt's uh, S breaks.
I have like nothing useful. Well, I got Cross Crusade. No, Ellie has a zero craft. Not anymore. It's mine now. I swear, I thought I showed this. I, 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 I don't recognize this one at all. Seen Cross Crusade, so. They got XP, but they won't level up, so it's useless. Alright. I swear, I, sh I could have sworn I've, sh I've shown up Gemini Judgment, and I don't even remember that S break. We're still, in, we're still in one daydream. We're almost at an hour. Uh-huh. What am I doing here? If I remember correctly, I let the weird, I felt the weird presence and... Then after that, I... Oh. Right. Why did I forget? I wonder how Curtin and the others are doing. Has the investigation been going okay? No, no, it's not like I'm crushing on her or anything. She's just strong, cool, and reliable, and... But wait. Am I? Am I? Huh, I guess I never knew I liked girls. I mean, who cares if I like girls? I mean, these humans are real. I mean, you don't have to worry about that. Oh, boy. Cortina, save me! What's that dream just now? Uh oh. Whoa, where the heck am I? It's total creeps filling here. How did I end up? I knew it, it's the ring of power. Well. Oh. oh boy. What's going on here? Throw off the wig. <laughs> Looks like we just barely made it in time. This is what I think it is. There's no mistaking it. That's a devil. I'm betting that Mika's ring is actually an artifact that steals away vitality. And the being that used her to gather the power stands before us at last. It'd be one thing if the twilight was happening, was still happening, but now? Need the conjecture for later. We can't let this thing run loose. Right. It's not full strength yet, so let's dispatch it while we can. Watch that. I don't care what the heck you what the heck you are. We're taking you down. Alright. Break, delay, EP. Damage duck doesn't help me at all. None of these really help me. Alright, protect this thing. Oh, 
Let's see. Oh, it's Nidhogg's eye. Oh! Alright, the thing is, the chance to cause instant death. Alright, wonderful. I was about to be, I was getting ready to use her S break. I'm an asshole. Alright, wonderful. What an asshole. That was a one turn break, literally. Who cheated? This one I remember. It's all the guns. Some shining. Uh -oh. Ow. Oh, it's a good thing he used a rest break because uh, I don't have to worry about what having what having to waste uh <laughs> having to waste her uh CP. It's kind of hard. Uh, Alright, I don't want to waste the critical, so... Man, I killed him three times over. Uh -oh. oh, good. We're all frozen. Wonderful. Love it. Man, this thing hits hard. Holy shit. I think I should reduce my damage. Um Good. How long will be frozen for? Okay, one turn. Oh, good, wonderful. Oh, 
Oh, you would summon enemies. Are oh, you doing this again, huh? You love freezing me. I'm getting really sick and tired of this. Sense. I'll do with your bat buddies later. Get him! Get this monstrosity out of here. For me, my I, I, I love how I get this now after I've killed the main boss. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, game. Oh, looks like we did it. That should put an end to our slumbering affair. We should hurry back and tell at least the good news. Oh crap, let's hide tight out of here quick, guys! This is probably because the devil ruling over the space is gone. Can you stand? Let's get you out of this dreary place. Back to where you belong. Run away. Afterwards. So the ring blonde of the founding pillar of the academy. Like the Saint Estrella from all those years ago. Most likely. Not a hundred years ago, Saint Estrella saved countless lives when the calamity befell the Imperial Capital. It was she who inspired the founding values of this academy and it's said that she possessed a mysterious ring. Known as the Ring of Salvation, it allegedly held the power to heal all wounds, all with a mere brush of a hand. I contacted Vida and she confirmed that it actually existed back then. I suspect it was hidden away in the primal ground and ended up rest resting beneath the academy. When the twilight appeared, it partially recovered its abilities, and the rest is history. Well, that's quite the story. Mika occasionally put the ring on, so all the, all the dots connected those were the only time that it activated. That lines up with the intel I got from Gaius. Evidently, there were, pa these are, there were past examples of demons trying to use artifacts. The fact that Mika's memories were tampered with, with lends credence to that, she, he said. I see. I spoke with the rest of the student council members, and nobody knew about knew a thing about the ring. Then all this was all the work of that demon. And it seems likely that said demon tried to manifest during the, twi twi during the twilight. And since it was still incomplete, it used her to try and finish the job. Either that, or it was that something that managed to remain remain after the twilight ended. There's no way to know. I'm just glad we were able to take care of it. I'm sure Shane Stray is pleased as punch. Uh, rest your soul. I bet you're right about that. I'll take responsibility for the game that's written to Gaius. We gotta make sure nobody ever uses it for evil ever again. Your efforts are very much appreciated. Everyone, I'm so grateful for you've done for this academy. By the way, I want to let you know that while Mika suffered from some minor scrapes, she other she's otherwise perfectly fine. I'm sure we owe that much that much to you, to, not much much of that to you, Kurt. That was nothing. I simply did what I had to do. It's, simple, it's honestly extraordinary that she only got away with some scratches considering what she got wrapped up in. She's a lucky girl. I suspect that Mika has always possessed strong spiritual power. That might be why the demon set, her, set its eyes on her. I see. She's been through a lot, the poor thing. But I'm certain she'll be okay. She has her knight in shining armor after all. 
that she does get a little of our little heartbreaker over here. Given the situation, I can't really blame him. Oh, I just knew it was the right mood to have him work in disguise. What's going on with everyone? What's going on? What's everyone going on about? Hello, Mika, are you with us or what? Uh what's going on? What's wrong? What's going on with you? You've been really out of it recently. Call me a creepy sheep, but because I got the wool pulled over my eyes so hard. Now has Adel's forsaken me. Uh, meltdown alert. You think she's sick? Wait, now that I think about it. I see you're Wayne's little sister. Talk about a coincidence. By the way, you should be proud of yourself. You did well. Whether it was Kurt or Kurt Kurtina, I met a total hottie. Uh, <laughs> Everything actually turned out all right in the end. Uh -uh. Dang, I really am the goddess of luck. Oh boy. Haru,また退屈な一年が始まる季節。でも、私の幸運は健在みたい。だって。Yeah, there's there there's the, the the daydream title. That was a long daydream, man. That, that, that was that was that was all just like one daydream. We're already over an hour. Calvary Edge. Oh God. Oh no, Kurt. Does it come with the wig too? Oh no. <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta see. Where you at, Kurt? Where the fuck are you? There you are. I gotta see this. Oh my god. Kurt's a straight A uniform. It comes with the wig and all. <laughs> Poor Kurt. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I keep this on for jokes. All right, sorry, buddy, but uh, you're, you're you're using that for a while. That's why I get tired of looking at it. All right, Ugh. I'm gonna end it here. When we come back, we still have three daydreams that to go through. Hopefully, they're not hopefully they're not as long. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you then. Later.